Good day, ABM Business Finance Learners! In this video, we will continue discussing the master budget that focuses on Projected Budgeted Balance Sheet What is projected or pro forma or budgeted balance sheet? The budgeted balance sheet contains all of the line items found in a normal balance sheet, except that it is a projection of what the balance sheet will look like during future budget periods. It is compiled from a number of supporting calculations, the accuracy of which may vary based on the realism of the inputs to the budget model. How to prepare a budgeted or projected balance sheet? Let us take this given example. Five company reported the following account balances prior to preparing its budgeted financial statements. Make sure also that you have our previously prepared budgets before we make this financial budget, this projected balance sheet. Okay? So for land, the beginning balance is 500,000 pesos. For equipment, we have 577,500. For accounts payable, we have 130,000 pesos. For equity, we have 748,625. For our retained earnings, beginning balance is 700,000 pesos. Now we have to prepare our budgeted balance sheet. Like the other budget that we have prepared, we have to write first the heading that consists of name of the company, type of budget being prepared, and the period coverage. Next, write the format of the budgeted balance sheet. See given in the problem. Now place the given amount in the format. Let us begin. For land, 500,000 pesos. For equipment, we have 577,500. But because in our cash budget, we have recorded a purchases amounting to 192,000 pesos, that is 143,700 plus 48,300. And we also deduct the depreciation from our manufacturing overhead and selling and administrative amounting to 90,000 pesos. And our net for equipment will be 679,500. Next, we have Accounts payable. Followed by equity, 748,625. Next, the given beginning balance for our retained earnings amounting to 
700,000 pesos. Now, let us see our cash budget. The remaining cash balance at the end of the quarter is 4,100 pesos. Let us proceed to sales and cash collections budget to see how much is the accounts receivable or the amount uncollected at the end of the quarter. In our sales budget, the June sales is amounting to 300,000 pesos and the collected amount is only 210,000 pesos. But then the 5% is uncollectable. So we still have uncollected amount amounting to 75,000 pesos. And that is the 25% of our 300,000 pesos sales. Now let us see our direct materials budget. Our ending direct materials inventory is 11,500. 11,500 is 40 centavos each to enable for us to know the amount for our ending inventory we must multiply them. So that will be 4,600 pesos. Now let us proceed to our ending finished goods inventory budget. It is clear that the amount of our finished goods inventory is for the 7,425 pesos. Now, let's see our budgeted income statement and get the net income or net loss. In our budgeted income statement, we incurred loss amounting to 219,000 pesos. Now let us go back to our cash budget where we can see that we paid our dividends amounting to 49,000 pesos for the month of April. Now, let us solve for balances. Let us solve first the current assets. Let us add the cash, 4,100, accounts receivable, 75,000 pesos, direct materials inventory, 4,600, finished goods inventory, 47,425. Our total current assets is 131,125 pesos. Now let's add the property and equipment, our land, 500,000 pesos, our equipment, net of depreciation, amounting to 679,500 pesos. Total property and equipment is 1,179,500. 
Now let us add the current assets and property and equipment. Now we have a total of 1,310,625. Let us now proceed to liabilities and equipment. Let us add the rate and earnings. Let us get the balance. We have a beginning balance of 700,000 pesos. We incurred loss amounting to 219,000 pesos. We paid our dividends amounting to 49,000 pesos. We have an ending balance for our rate and earnings amounting to 432,000 pesos. Let us add the liabilities and equities. Accounts payable 130,000, equity 748,625, our rate and earnings 432,000 pesos. We have a total liabilities and equities amounting to 1,310,625 pesos. Don't forget to double rule the final amount. That ends our business finance lesson for Master Budget. Hope you enjoyed learning. Thank you so much.